everyone. My name is Darnell. Welcome to Shoemaker Art and today I'm going to use some alcohol inks on this vase. Um, I have prepped my vase, it's a glass vase, with um, the 91% isopropyl alcohol and then I primered it with um, Bullseye Zinsers 123. Um, guys, this is um, some really good primer. It doesn't run and it's even coverage. It's amazing stuff. And I got it at um, Lowe's. And it was a trial basis, the lady said. Um, but it went over so well, they're going to, at least ours is, going to stock it. So, uh, let's see. I've got my inks. Let me get my glasses so I can read to you which ones. So I have crimson, orange, and these are all Bria... Reese, these two are actually quite a few of them. Cadmium yellow is my yellow. Olive green, turquoise, sky, and then this here is ranger and it's stone washed and ranger as well. Um, purple twilight. Okay, so I'm just gonna load up my little tray. And I have a couple different kinds of brushes that I'm going to be using. Um, I like to just put it on with this size here. And then I like to come in with these smaller ones for um, a little bit of added detail. So we'll see how this works out. Let's put it over here. Okay. Going to pour a little bit of alcohol into the center. And be careful, it goes everywhere. I can use that to wash out my brushes. Wah. Okay. Get the spinner going. And I just have a pool noodle inside the spinner. I don't think I want it. Yeah, that can go that way. Oh, definitely gonna need some more red. <laughs> And just run it along. The spinner helps so you can keep your hand somewhat straight. Yeah, that was too big of a brush. Okay, so I'm going to um, use a smaller brush. And put a little more ink in here. I think some of that alcohol was spilt in there. Let me put some on the very beginning. Okay, so I just start off in one spot, hold my hand still, and let the tumbler do its thing. I think I am running down here. And then when you come back to where you started, if you're happy with it being dark enough, you can start somewhere else. If it's too light, you can um, just go back over it. Now, this spot right here, that's where I started. It always leaves a glob because there's some leftovers. So... So, um, I have started on the other side before, and then it blends in pretty good by the time it gets back around. Sometimes I just leave it too. So, we'll see how this looks.
Okay. So we've got my red going and I like the way it looks. Uh, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna rinse it out just a little bit. I do want just a little bit of that red in there so when I start my orange I will start right up next to it and it can um, blend. So I'm gonna start into the red a little bit. a little closer for just a second so you can see this. You see that detail? Okay, so I'm going to rinse off my brush. And then I'm going to go back into the orange. This time it won't have, it shouldn't have any red left on it. Actually I need a little more. So I'm going to move on to the yellow, which really, honestly, is not much different than um, my red, uh, my orange. <laughs> A little shade of lighter, but not much. So hopefully I can, it'll show up. Well, it looks a little lighter there than it did on my sample. got this dipped in the orange and there's one spot that I'm not super happy with so I'm just gonna run it along the very edge there we go that's what I'm looking for okay Next color is green. Okay, I'm going to add some more. And I did change brushes, by the way. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next color. You can go back and fix um, something if you don't like it. If there is a lighter spot in the green that I'm not super fond of, but. All right, so next is turquoise.
is blue. Now this blue is very, very transparent. It is, you hardly can see it. So I have to do several coats of it. All right, so next color, stone washed. I don't know how it's gonna work on the curve. That I haven't tried yet. So this will be a first for me. Okay, and last but not least is the purple. Wipe my brush off. Okay, I don't want too much on here. I don't want it to run. Another color of purple that I may incorporate here at the very top. It's like really dark. Okay, let me get the other purple. And this one is purple violet. Oh. Yeah, that's a little darker. Now, I can add some just plain alcohol. And you can lighten and thin out areas if you want. I'll show you what I'm talking about. There is a very dark spot right here. So that's the gist of it. Um, I see just a couple little areas that I want to work on. And the first one is There's one green spot. 
right there that I don't like. There we go. And I will put a coat of resin on it. Oh, actually, I will have to spray it first with some sort of a sealer. Let me get you to see if you can. There's enough light in here. You can see. So um, my vase now has um, has been sealed, and I'm going to put a coat of epoxy over it. I am using today Stone Coat Countertops Quick Coat and equal parts, and it sets in about 10 minutes, so you really kind of got to move fast. So we'll get this going, and hopefully I got it sealed good enough that I don't reactivate my inks. So far, so good. All right. So you just want to get even coverage all the way around. Looks like my tumbler's falling off. Let's try that. It's a little better. Wow, this is making the colors pop. It's beautiful. There goes my vase again. Ah. Yeah. Let's get this top part done, then I'll readjust it. Just making sure I've got everything covered. All right, it looks like up here at the top I'm good. So let's run a little bead along the top, the very top. Okay. All right, let's finish the rest. Now I've got two ounces of epoxy made up here, and um, I do have a tumbler that, well that's just not going to sit up there, is it? I do have a tumbler that I need to epoxy as well, so what I have left over I'll use on that. Okay, let's make sure i got coverage everywhere. I'll just readjust it when I get done. I think this came out amazing. turn. Get up there. <laughs> well, things don't always work out the way that you think they should. Just need for it to continue to turn. Carefully, I'm going to try to get the bottom. Usually these sit on here pretty good. I must not have the foam part, the pool noodle inside very uh, straight. 
Okay, it's already starting to get tacky, so I need to do what I gotta do here. So let's get you back up here. Okay, so I got this squared away. It's um, turning now. So I will take pictures of the um, end product and show you then. Thanks for joining, bye.